Well, hello, Bob Dendry here, and welcome back to City Skylines, where we are building the town of Lorikeet Valley. So, it's been a bit of a weird week. I've been a little bit tardy with my uploads, and that's for a couple of reasons. One of which is I've been having some issues with my mod set. Um, primarily, I'm having issues with Acme and Adaptive Networks, which I'm not sure why. Um, the mods themselves don't have any issues that I can see. Um, so, clearly, something is breaking, and I have tried literally unsubscribing from all of my mods and resubscribing and still no issue. But on the plus side, you've got a one-click collection of all the mods I use. <laughs> so uh, that one will now be in the description. But you might notice our population has changed a little bit. Mm. I've been letting this run for a little bit before I started recording. And Metropolis. Oh, yes, that means we get another map area. So let's not talk about this. Let's jump in and purchase that map piece right now. So look at this. Let's have a look at the area we've got to play with here. If we have a look at our topography, we'll see that it is reasonably flat. We've got a very large flat area in the middle here. And then we've got some areas here that are a little bit hilly, but are still quite manageable. And of course we have, you know, further sort of areas we could potentially look to access down in this direction eventually. But this is a big, big thing for us. We have a large area that we can now play with, so we can get down a lot more residential, and we can also um, utilize the existing rail line that we actually have here, which is looks like it's set up as sort of an old um, disused rail line because it doesn't connect to anything. But we, we can put it back into service and connect it up to our town and also use it to connect to our new community we're going to be building in this square. So first of all, we need to look at what are our plans to get people into this area? So obviously we've got Chatswood here. It's a logical connection to probably use the collector we've got here and sort of tee off and run towards what will be our new residential area. But we've also got an option here to maybe build a, an arterial that connects directly to our expressway here, which I think makes a lot of sense as well. So what sort of an area do we want to be building here? And I'm thinking we're probably going to go with a fairly large area of sort of boomer type homes here. This would be a, a new development, a, a true new development. Um, but we also want to integrate it with our transport opportunities as well. So we're wanting to probably run both a metro and a rail connection here, which I think will make sense <laughs> once, we, uh, once we get it all sorted out and working. So heading back to our topography, um, what we want to do is we want to grid down a fair region of the from where we're looking the right side of um of this train line this will make things fairly easy to sort of separate using that rail line as a, a natural sort of uh disconnection point and i think we will uh be able to quite easily handle that so first of all we've talked about a bit of an arterial and where do we want that arterial to run so we do want to run with uh, probably one of a six lane road of some sort, probably no parking, um, which we can most likely sort of connect up around about here or so. And then we can run a bit of a freeform road, which will run more or less into, um, I guess, where we really will start to break down into some more regular residential. So this will probably be in the middle of the area but we're not going to have massive amounts of connections to this we'll probably break off a couple of collectors as well and we will probably once we get to about here we'll sort of break that down into a collector as well so this one will become a collector And I probably also want to run another uh, sort of collector opposing this road as well. And from there, I think we're probably good just to start doing a fair amount of gridding in this area. How do we want our roads to look? I think we're going to go with a fairly tight grid here. I'm thinking maybe about a 14 by 10. And let's see if we can get some nice gridding happening using that. So we're going to go out by 14 and across by 10. And of course, with our collector being a little bit offset, it's not at a parallel to our initial collector. 
It will be a little bit different. But I think, I think this is going to work fairly well. And we're going to just use move it to fix uh, the tree anarchy we had on. Okay, that is a little bit better. So this is a fairly basic initial sort of stub. We're not going to get too involved in you know, gridding out this entire area. I want to start fairly basic. So we've got this grid here. Um, we can connect to this collector up to Chatswood. I think we'll probably go around these rocks and connect in at a T around about here or so. And then we've got obviously all this area that we can gradually use to increase our uh, gridding and our density as we progress in building the city. But now let's look at our connection to uh, to our Lorikeet Expressway. I, we might actually be able to make this work as a trumpet. Alright, so we've got our connection to the motorway. It's not the best <laughs> by any means, but I think it will work fine, which is, I guess, the important bit. And now we can really start planning out the community, how that's going to look. So we'll get some services laid down. It also looks like we're starting to... Well, we've almost hit our water capacity here, so we need to look at... Uh, getting down some new water supplies. And let's have a look. So we do have a water supply over here that we could potentially switch over to a large water tower, which I might do now. Done. So that should handle our water um, needs for at least a little while. Hopefully. Yeah, perfect. And sewage is absolutely fine. No issues there at all. Okay, so let's get planning. How are we going to work this? So we're not going to have any um, zoning on this section of our arterial. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is disable zoning on the road for specifically for that reason. Not on this section. Okay, oh well. Um, it's fine, we're not going to be laying anything there anyway. Uh, we will probably get a station right here, and in fact I might actually lay that down right now while we're thinking about it. Going to use Jokes for track station once again. Um, big fan of... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm a big fan of this one. So we will uh, be using that one. And what I'm actually going to do as well is we're going to convert one of these to a metro track. Hmm. Interesting, you might say. Interesting indeed. Alright, that took a bit of thinking to get to work, but um, yeah, we've got here our train station. We have one metro or two metro platforms and two rail platforms, and hopefully this works. 
Um, this is a bit of an experiment for me, so <laughs> let's see how it goes. So in terms of our rail, um, obviously we've got this rail here that we can connect up. Um, and we can also connect up to really this set of platforms over here in Birdsong, which is what I'm actually planning to do. We will need to sort of reorganize some of our uh, roads and stuff around here, which I'm going to quickly sort of start to get rerouted. So what I'm going to do, we will grab this, oops, and we are going to break it off around about here or so, and have it just, uh, yeah, split off and uh, go in its own way. <laughs> and it will tunnel under our maintenance facility and probably pop up on the other side of our uh, roadway, if we're honest. Let's try that again. Are you not connecting? Can we union those nodes, please? Perfect. Okay, and then for our metro, uh, we'll probably keep it um, sitting on the surface. It can run alongside the heavy rail line. In fact, what I might do is use the parallel tool. Probably doesn't need to go that far, actually. Oop. And then what we're going to do is see if this will work. Going to create another parallel. And can we elevate it? Can we lift it up? We can't, but that's okay. We can just select everything and do it that way. Right, so we've got this little bit of a mess here, but we've got a uh, heavy rail and also metro service for the area, so happy with that. Let's get some zoning down then. So we will get some uh, commercial on our collector. I think that probably makes the most sense. We can probably squeeze a little bit alongside our rail line as well. And the rest we are going to do just as some nice, easy low density commercial. I'm going to quickly pause as well while we add a new uh, district for this area. This one we're going to call Bexley. Cool. We've got development fixed. So this is going to be a bit of a mishmash because we don't have themes unfortunately at this point. Um, I will hopefully try and get that fixed but yeah. We've got some development in any case, so that is good in itself. 
Next, let's get our transport services set up to uh, serve this area. So I'm going to grab our uh, line here. We're going to move it to our station over here. Apparently not. Don't know why we can't find a connection because it's connected. So I worked out why the metro wasn't working. Here we go. We had a a node that wasn't connected. So let's see if we can't just get that little blasted fixed up. Let's have a look. So we want our union nodes mode. Unioned. And then let's have a look and see if we can fix it. Yes. And then we can get those stops added in and looks like we are all good to go now. Happy days. Happy days. All right. Well, we'll we can connect up our other line anyway. All right. And we're now sort of splitting our train line. This is realistically, it's more or less still the same line. Um, but it just has sort of a split end. So what we might do, if we go to our line details, um, this one is still gonna be the T1, but we're gonna call it T1 Bexley line. And what we'll do as well for our budget, um, we'll sort of half it, so we've got two. And then for our existing T1 line, we're gonna call that the T1 Waratah line. And yeah, two for that as well. Cool, so that is um, good. And that should work out fine for us. Now, as part of this new development, there's been an agreement to build a little bit of big box retail on the intersection of Woodland Boulevard and High Street. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get building that. So what I'm thinking we're gonna use for this one is we're actually gonna use, oh look, it's already here. We're gonna use a Costco. So I might just get out the different buildings and just sort of lay them down so we can have a look at them. And of course we've got petrol. So we've got sort of the main building here. And then we have um, just an extension and we also have a loading dock as well for the, uh, for the whole building really. As you can see we've got some like garage area, stuff like that. So I think what we might do is so let's use move it and we'll just get these moving first of all and then we're going to build some uh, car parking for our for our costco all right we'll have two entrances one here off high street and we'll have one off uh, our collect or our arterial as well i think and from there, we're just going to get a bit of the old parking light down. All right, and we've got just a couple more shops that we're gonna add in as well. So we've got a Coles, which is more or less the same as our Woolies we have over here. I think it like actually is the same building. It's just, um, you know, made up as a Coles rather than a Woolies. And we have a Spotlight as well. So we're gonna get those in. Um, and yeah, hopefully our residents will enjoy that little bit extra shopping they have. Uh, we are going to make a, a local connection between Grove Park as well. So this road here, uh, which is Primrose Street, is our sort of our main road. It goes all the way through to, um, you know, up towards that intersection over there. So we'll make the connection from here. And just a simple one. Oh, 
And just a simple one will be just going over. And connecting back up. Okay, and I think we can just squeeze in a little bit more residential before we finish off this episode. As you can see, our demand is still increasing. Uh, we have about 63,000, so we've got plenty more people wanting to move in. Um, so we're going to help them out in our new area here at Bexley. So, well, it looks like we're still pretty good on, on this other side of our uh, collector. So we should be fine just to sort of spread out a little bit. Um, continue to follow our... Um, sort of 14 by 10 grid that we're going with. Lovely. Uh, we also turned tree anarchy back on. Actually turned it on on purpose. Um, but we now need to <laughs> fix it. Shall we say. Done. Okay, so we've got a little bit more room here, and we can probably head a little bit further in this direction as well. Alright, so I've made a little monstrosity of a bus um, stop over here, which uh, probably doesn't make sense right now, but basically buses will be able to come along here Chuck a quick Yui and pull in here Drop off passengers and then leave again. Um, we're not going to allow movement from this direction Into this bus facility. It doesn't really make any sense and um, Yeah, hopefully this works out okay because it doesn't look great right now Okay, cool so we'll use Traffic Manager just to make some changes. Let's do our lane connectors. So we will have a dedicated turning lane. We will also have a dedicated turning lane here. Let's straight through. And we will allow this movement as well. And we'll just set up some automatic time traffic lights. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to set up a little shuttle bus from our um, community to pop over here, drop people off here in case they want to go to the shops and then they can jump back on the bus and go back. So it's going to be a nice quick um, one, not too much serious in terms of, a, you know, large numbers of buses or anything like that. It's just going to be a nice simple one. Starts at our station. Does a little bit of a loop, runs down High Street. Does a quick Yui there, and it just comes back. Nice quick one. Well, as you can see, our new tile is already starting to develop quite a bit. We will continue to be working on this sort of area throughout the next couple of episodes. I think hopefully we will, um, you know, really grow the community, get up towards our next um, milestone, which I think should unlock the rest of the tiles. We're only playing with 25, not 81, so keep that in mind. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to my social media in the description. Big shout out to Twitch. If you got Twitch, please jump on and follow. It does help me out a lot. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is City Skylines. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.